Bob, travelers heading to New York will need proof that they have tested negative for the virus. That is the new requirement ordered by Governor Andrew Cuomo. And he says he's increasing National Guard presence at New York airports to enforce that. This order comes as New York continues to see a rise in cases. Ashley Ketz has more on these new rules. Ashley? Well, New York now requires people to provide results from not one, but two negative COVID-19 tests. One before they land and another after they arrive. And the governor is calling on the National Guard to verify the results. Technically, the governor of New York sends a stern message to passengers flying into the state ahead of the holiday season. You should not land if you do not have proof of a negative test upon landing. This comes as New York is reporting its biggest increase in COVID cases in months. Governor Andrew Cuomo is bringing in the National Guard and police to help keep travelers from bringing COVID-19 into the state. I spoke to New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio about increasing uh, the New York Police Department at the airports. In a radio interview Friday, Governor Cuomo announced he's increasing National Guard personnel at airports to assist airline officials and the Port Authority, adding they can check with passengers' departure states to verify test results. Previously, people were required to self quarantine 14 days if they were coming from a COVID hotspot. The enforcement of that is highly problematic. Uh, we're not equipped to do that. Now, if a traveler's second COVID test is negative, they don't have to quarantine. You were supposed to take a test where you were coming from and within three days, and it was supposed to show a negative test. While Cuomo acknowledges the measure is aggressive, the state, once known for being at the epicenter of the pandemic, isn't taking any chances. I want people to know we're serious. While we were in Michigan covering the election this week, I spoke with a woman from New York. She was visiting to help as a Democratic election challenger and said she would be taking a test in Detroit before flying back home. Meanwhile, New Yorkers who traveled for fewer than 24 hours outside the state do not need to take a test before returning, though they are required after they re-enter.